Alrighty folks, this is going to be a review of my new canoe Frontier 12 kayak. I've had it for about four, four and a half months now. Uh, nothing really negative to say about the kayak. Been enjoying it. Uh, so, but anyways, let's let's jump right into it. Uh, just a quick review and let you guys uh, see my setup and uh, let you guys know a little bit about the kayak itself. Uh, we'll just start at the back here. Uh, you got your drain plug there, which I've, I've never had to use, uh, but good to have just in case. Uh, you got a grab handle back here in the back uh, for lifting, dragging, whatever you got to do with the kayak. Uh, the square, square transom mount, which I like and is one of the reasons why I got the kayak. I don't have any uh, electric or gas propulsion, anything added to it as of yet, but I may in the future if I get tired of paddling this thing. Uh, I just got a red sash tied on there. Uh, for towing safety, uh, just a little something else uh, people behind me can see. Um, <clears throat> here I have a 13-quart uh, Ingle uh, bait cooler, and I had already had this cooler, but coincidentally, it just happens to fit perfectly in the back of this new canoe Frontier 12 kayak. Uh, so that worked out really, really good. I like to do uh, well, primarily uh, catfishing, so you know shad, uh, live bluegill, whatever I got as far as live that I want to use for bait that day this cooler works perfect, great cooler. Um, let's see what else we got, the Vizzy Carbon Pro a lot of you are probably familiar with this light, uh, really nice uh, from Yak Attack and the flag is the bag so that's pretty cool, breaks down like a tent pole you can see there, folds up and goes inside this uh, bag right here. Let's see what else. <clears throat> here you have your scupper plugs. Your scuppers are here uh, for draining the kayak. If you take any water over the sides, whatever the case. Uh, I've never really had any issues. I, I fish in larger reservoirs. Uh, not a lot of uh, moving water, rivers, anything like that. So, uh, But good to have anyways. Uh, and let's see. I use two three pound grapple anchors. One at the front, one at the back. And I do use the cleats. I don't have the I believe you call it an anchor trolley uh, as of yet just because it's a newer kayak to me and I'm not quite to the point where I'm comfortable putting hose in the uh, kayak just yet. So I use these uh, uh, anchor cleats or tie off cleats from Yak Attack. I love them. They're good. They're easy. Uh, slide either which way, tighten them up <clears throat> and good to go. Uh, now watch if you get these here. There's two sizes. This is the larger of the two, which I'm glad I got. I was on the fence. I'd never seen them or been, you know, I've never had them. So I was on the fence about which size I wanted. I went with the larger and I'm glad I did. Uh, they're perfect. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, you got a, you got a uh, cleat system here. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember what you call this, like a cam cleat maybe. Uh, but I, I don't use it just because it's in the middle of the kayak. But if you had to tie off or uh, use some brush grips, whatever the case, that might be nice to have. Uh, let's see what else. So uh, here you have your 360. I believe they they call it the Fusion 360 uh, seat. Uh, really nice. And then here you can adjust the uh, you know forward and back on the the backrest there. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, never had any problems with this seat as far as uh, you know setting for a long time, which I do uh, fishing for catfish. Uh, sore back, anything else, uh, this seat here is good. I'm, I'm uh, pleased with it. Uh, let's see here, I got the uh, paddle and they have these uh, paddle uh, holders here on either side. I believe I'll have to double check uh, the other side to make sure. I uh, don't remember exactly, but uh, anyways, and I have the 260 to 280 centimeter uh, new canoe. It's an adjustable paddle. I like it. I know there's lighter ones on the market, maybe less expensive, whatever the case, but that one's worked out great for me. I'm uh, 6'3", so, uh, and then a wider kayak. It works perfect. This kayak is 41 inches wide, uh, so a wider kayak, me being somewhat taller, or you know, 6'3", uh, the 260 to 280 is great, and I use it from 260 all the way to 280, just depending uh, what's most comfortable with whatever I'm doing at the at the moment uh, Let's see what else here. You have the uh, cup holders either side. Uh, you can see the the mug over there uh, So those are kind of cool. I got a whistle here 
just a carabiner to the cup holder, your grab handles. Uh, and one thing too uh, I like about this uh, kayak is from the back all the way to the front you have the uh, gear track system. Another reason why I went with this kayak, uh, I wanted a lot of track uh, options from the front to back for all the, the gear or accessories I may be mounting uh, to reduce the amount of hose that I have to put in the kayak. Let's see what else. Uh, moving up to this dashboard, this is a new canoe uh, dashboard here. Uh, new canoe has a lot of different accessories that you can find on their website. Uh, I went with this, as you can see, so I could have it's to me it's a it's a a rod holder obviously, and then also for the uh, sonar, uh, it works great. I've caught up to 40 pound or 40 plus pound catfish on this setup here and it's it's been fine uh, so really cool this here obviously just an ammo can to put the battery now this this is a Garmin 7 Echo Plus SV and uh, as you can see or may be able to tell here I don't have it completely hooked up but I'm gonna run the battery here and then the wiring from there to here obviously uh, I just haven't got it completely set up just yet uh, but wanted that on there so you guys could see uh, a 7 inch in relation to this dashboard from New Canoe uh, with some rods uh, so forth so on uh, let's see now these rods here uh, just for some perspective are uh, seven and a half foot catfish rods uh, and that's how they always are every once in a while I'll for you know whatever reason it may be if I need more space or just move things or uh, I want to cast to a different angle or whatever the case I will rotate these these are Scotty rod holders uh, set it up like that if I need to but anyways great dashboard I enjoy it there's there's a whole lot of other things that mounts to this or could mount to this that I haven't done yet but I will in the future uh, let's see moving forward uh, here I have my uh, tackle bag and then a cooler and, and this everything in the in the kayak now is typically how I fish this is this is pretty much uh, rig to fish uh, if I wanted to leave right now uh, so my tackle bag, a little Coleman cooler, uh, works out great. And then my front cleat here, as I was telling you all, I use a front and a back cleat uh, when I'm anchor fishing. Uh, let's see, moving forward here to the uh, front hatch. Uh, pretty cool system here. Pop that off, raise this up. It's got the seal around it, uh, the dry gasket, uh, the bag here. And as you can see, I just store miscellaneous random things in here. Got some of my batteries, some brush grips, uh, sunblock, dry box, bug spray, whatever you may need, and I still got plenty of room. Uh, now, when I go out, I think I, I throw a few more things in there, but for the most part, that's what goes with me every time. Uh, now, these here, <coughs> excuse me, are uh, rod tip protectors. You can run your rods the length of the boat or the kayak. Sorry. Uh, and put your rod tips here as to not damage them or have them moving around or whatever the case getting uh, you know snagged on tree limbs if you're in a tight spot or whatever the case so those are really cool I, I don't actually use these very often uh, but I do like the idea of them and I likely will use them in the future uh, here's your front grab handle uh, you can see I got the, the tie uh, to the uh, hand winch here uh, on the trailer uh, but that's that's for you know lifting, pulling, dragging, obviously whatever you need. Uh, but for the most part, that's that's my setup and how I, I typically run the kayak when I'm fishing. Uh, now you can see my trailer here, uh, just a basic. Uh, well, it's an old old V bottom uh, boat trailer, I believe, and I've I've just slowly been. Uh, mocking it up to fit this kayak. I actually have put this kayak on another trailer that I've been using but I'm trying to transition over to using this one as my full-time kayak trailer. I'm just not quite there yet. Uh, let me go to the other side here. We can take a look. Uh, you do have the paddle holder here on the other side so that's cool either side. Uh, let's see what else now. You'll see these two uh, uh, inserts here. I think they're qu uh, quarter 20 uh, inserts here. And then uh, some of these other uh, miscellaneous, uh, this obviously is for your paddle, uh, but this here, these, 
uh, this piece I believe are for a pedal drive system now don't hold me to that but if you check the website I do believe now I know for a fact these are for the pedal drive system this here I think is for the cabling uh, whatever else for the setup of the pedal drive so let's see what else I think everything's the same over here you got your gear track uh, like I said from from the rear of the kayak to the front which is what I like because I, I do I don't have a lot of things on it now but I will in the future so the more gear track the better to me uh, so but anyways if you all can uh, think of anything else or have any questions uh, feel free to comment let me know uh, anything I, I mean my gear the the sonar my rods reels uh, rod holders bait cooler anything the the Vizzy, uh, Vizzy uh, Pole Pro uh, any questions anything just just let me know and I'll I'll uh, be more than happy to uh, answer any questions I can about the kayak or my gear uh, one other thing I, I believe I did mention it's 41 inches wide uh, but I didn't mention the weight it's 77 pounds uh, which is not bad for a kayak of this size um, I've been really happy with it as far as dragging it paddling it it's not the fastest uh, kayak out there but I didn't get it to be fast I got it to be uh, used for catfishing and catching big catfish uh, which it has done so far and it's done well so uh, anyways guys if you all can think of anything else or have any questions uh, let me know but that's the new canoe Frontier 12 and uh, oh, one other thing I'm sorry the color is Bulldog uh, it's a Bulldog red uh, I, I believe that color came out in 2020 I could be wrong but this is a 2020 and it's uh, Bulldog red alright guys Thank you all. Bye-bye.